Do a drink check. Okay, I will probably have to go and get more drink. I can guarantee that now. Um, so that's interesting. <clears throat> okay. So we want to. Yeah, we want to go here. Alright, save. No. I want to load this. Loading, lose, unsafe progress, yes. Okay. Do chapter three. Which route, which route should I choose? Um, yeah, this one was the one where I was like, you have not really a choice. You have to go either this way or and then you'll go that way. Um, right, is it? Looks like you're more interested in Mr. Edgeworth. The information we've gotten so far, Vincent seems to be more closely involved in the G4 cyborg incident. I believe investigating the legal department will give us the answers we want. I see. I'll have to agree. Ah, oh, both ways changed. Huh? Mrs. So Draco and I reached an agreement. Intercom in the Myers lobby went off without warning. As I was the number one trusted source for medical mechanical prosthetics, we define global standards. First, first, first class corporate iron. created and hands. Myers Corporation. Please enjoy. This is a wonderful, 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 painful day. That's a bit upsetting. Oh, that's even more upsetting. Hi! Uh, from the front of the employee passage in the distance comes a heart. Trending, heart wrenching. That I think it's heart wrenching. How? How? Pulse. What have they done to him? His face suddenly became very serious. They? To him? Here we go. What is going on? No time to explain. Maybe go now. Wait a minute, Jaco. I could finish. I could push my hand to the right room of the lobby and then punched a button on the front desk. He's dead. There we go! Poopy, don't you want to know the truth? Don't you want to know who you are? Then go. If your life ends here and now, all your efforts will be in vain. What about you? I'm just about the. Please don't worry about me. Try my best to hold him back. But, 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 but. Poopy, like you, I'm a person without a past. It wasn't that long ago that my life could be described as empty, not this glory. The arrival of one person changed everything around me. Don't be break free. When you realize that nothing is more important. Is he really doing by the way? Okay, sorry, let me Okay. This music's loud for me. Okay. Okay. She's found poor to me. We can't lose her a second time. Oh, here we go. Chapter 
Draco? Do we know each other? In response to my question, Draco smiles. My name is Draco Edgeworth. It's my pleasure to meet you, Lady Pooh. Draco! Okay, so that... Yeah, we already knew... He, like, they looked very similar, so it must have been, like, brothers. Um... Question is, who's that lady? I assume it's not our main character. I'm just assuming that. I might be wrong. Um... But yeah, we'll learn eventually. Probably... Probably not in this chapter. Because... You know, this game never updates. <laughs> no. But it only has three chapters. This is the last... It's gonna be the last video on it for a while until it updates or until I remember that it exists. And all these silence answers my cries. Why is there dot 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 there? Chapter two. The end. Oh. Well. It's fine. So, does that mean that there's, like, if you, like, when they do the second choice to the left, he could survive? Is that a possibility? Like, he comes with you? Draco Edgeworth. From the first moment I saw him, he somehow looked very similar to Vincent. I had no idea that Vincent and him were really related to White Blood. It's character design, honey. It's not that hard. Others? I'm assuming, but what kind of person would make his own brother a butler? I don't know. Like, if they asked, like, if you did it right, it'd be fine. Poopy, like you, I'm a person without a past. It's not long ago that my life would only be described as empty, monotonous, and boring. His arrival of the one person changed everything around me. She helped me break free from the blank void and made me realize that nothing is more important than the present. Um. Why is he saying this again? I know it was in the last chapter, but still, he. Like, we should not have to read this again? Um, she's very important to me. I'll lose her a second time. So it must be our character. Curious what that is. Like, I am curious about the war of this whole game. Draco! What exactly does all that mean? I'm already talking like five sips. This is. We're gonna have. Lose our drink. Draco! Draco! Like, oh gosh. Yeah. Draco! Draco! Oh. I banged on the gate again and again and there was no response. Damn it. This can't be. There has to be a way. I groped along the nearby walls and finally switched to open the gate. Draco! I found this heartening at how powerless I was, but he was right there, yet I couldn't help him. What voice? I'm just gonna assume man, because that's the only characters we've had. Um. Eh, what should I go for? Should I do like growly? Like, what the hell? Why was the gate locked? Oh. I was wrong. Wow. <laughs> okay, somebody can shoot. Well. 
You know, we're gonna see what happens. Suddenly, I was taken aback by the appearance of an oddly looking, odd looking person from the other side of the room. Before I could say anything, she ran around me and rushed to the gate. Hey, hey, let me out! Should I make a like stereotypical like female voice like, hey, hey, let me out? <laughs> She was yelling and banging as if she was completely unaware of my presence. Hey! Hey! Can you hear me? Hey! Like the... Oh... Hey! Hey! Listen! Hey! <laughs> After carrying on for a while but hearing no response, she finally decides to give up. She was breathing heavily. Why don't you just say she was breathing heavily? And she turned around, like, you don't have to do the huffs. Okay. Um, and she turned around, staring straight at me with her bright eyes. Oh, gosh. Okay. Hint. Do not use the scroll wheel, because that has been the downfall. Um, with me, her bright burning eyes. Huh? Was it you? Were you the one who locked me in here? She demanded. Crap. I may be in trouble. Huh? Huh? That's when I thought I had come to play with a plan to deal with her. Her face looked as if she had suddenly realized something. Her eyes still focused on me, but it was as if she was looking me up and down. Hmm? Have we met before? She suddenly asks. Who? Oh, what? What? What did she just say? Her very surprising comment left me speechless for a moment. It was not something I expected to hear from her. Uh. I... That was three jinx in, like, three seconds. Like, that is not good. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. This really annoys me. That they're now using parentheses as well as non-parentheses to tell her thoughts. It's fine. It's critical. Can't miss my chance. In other words, I might be able to learn something about my past from her. But I might. I need to be careful. I don't have any idea whether she's a friend or, or foe yet. Judging from how she acted, it seems like she can only. She only has a casual acquaintance with me as well. It would not be the best idea to just start throwing questions at her around myself. More importantly, if I expose the fact that I lost my memory, things may change only to work against me. So the safest strategy right now would be to get information out of her in a less straightforward way. Oh, hi! It's been a while! Do you still remember me? Best to stay calm and greet her. She looked all over me again, and then her eyes rest on my face. Hmm. You not. You do seem familiar. Let me see. I'm gonna need a pee. <laughs> huh? Oh, hey, detective! Some he exclaimed with excitement. I remember now. I knew it. You were the one with the famous lawyer last time. He was ex. Expected of me, the mol, Zalmona. Gosh, as was expected of me, Zalmona. I knew we've met before. Zalmona. Oh, that's her name, Zalmona. Is that her name? <laughs> God. Okay. Ah, let's do this. More importantly, did she say I'm a detective? 
even felt as if I couldn't handle all the information I just received at once. You literally just learned that you're de you were a detective. As well as her name. That's too much information in one, like, sentence? Honey, 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 you have not taken a college class. You have not taken any classes, have you? Oh. Can we go back? Can we go back? That's... Okay. I never thought I would be a cop. You're not technically a cop! Um... I, was I involved in the case? Did something happen during my investigation that caused me to lose my memory? But, wait a minute. You mentioned that I was a famous lawyer. Could she possibly be referring to... Hmm. Gosh, I got a message. Give me a sec. But, detective... Mom's voice interrupted my thoughts and tricked my mind back to reality. I'm curious, what brings you back to Myers Corporation this time? Back to Myers. Think, think, think. Need to come up with an answer. Or a cop. There would be only one explanation for me being coming back here. I'm here to investigate the case of missing citizens over recent years. The truth behind the C4 cyborg incident. Uh -huh. G4. Oh, they, the models change? Huh? Again? My god, the G4 Investigation Bureau is, a use as, is as useless as ever. Oh, gosh. You know, if you actually took legit, like, alcohol, like, I'd, like, if this had any form of alcohol in it, like, I'd be drunk. I'm gonna need to refill this and, like, couple seconds, jeez. Detective? And it, uh, then it looks like your last investigation with the lawyer didn't go so well. Why didn't you bring him along this time? The, the famous lawyer. Are you in any chance referring to Mr. Vincent Edgeworth? Oh. Of course, who else can it be? taking smaller sips so this can last longer so I don't have a random break um so I don't have to go downstairs and talk to my family um let me reply so it seems that my speculation was correct Vincent and I had indeed met before following this logic it makes sense that I've met Draco as well that's the case why would Vincent hide everything from me? Pretend that he didn't know me. Oh no, there goes the drink. Alright, I'll keep going, but when there when I see like I'll scan it to see if there's a dot dot dot. If there's a dot dot dot, we're going to intermission. Cause I'm not gonna not have this going. Give me a sec. Nah. That is not centered in any form. Oh, this is... Wait, chat time. Ch oh. Oh, no. We'll fix that in a hat sec. Um, I still don't remember about the cyborg I saw at the mansion. How Vincent and Victor refused to explain anything about it. Paris had gone bankrupt years ago, but it was clear that someone was still using the abandoned site for some kind of experiments. Draco told me Myers Corporation had become a secret underground organization after that huge incident. But even if that is true, how can I explain cyborgs in Vincent's mansion? Oh gosh. Okay. Let me fix my intermission tag. Because I... Um, Boop. Okay. Done.
Ah! Okay. Can we inch it over? Can't. That is not gonna be centered. Oh, that's gonna annoy me. There's no way I can make that centered. Oh no. It's fine. Just ignore it. Okay. So I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna pee for one. I think. I may be wrong. I'm gonna go downstairs. Get a better drink. Well, more drink. I need to fill this up better. But anyway, so um try not to go insane with the music. Boy, and see you all in a sec.
drink acquired. Bathroom break has been taken. Um, I see legit viewers have not tanked. By that I mean it is still just one viewer, and the viewer is me. It's fine. Um, anyways, could it be that... Oh, I didn't mix this up. Give me a sec. That should be fine. I was wrong. I was wrong. That does not work. I don't know why I think that works. I will never stop doing that, though. Um, even though I found that it's work, it does not work. Okay. As a tech tech, <laughs> as a duck, <laughs> this is actually investigating Vincent and not Myers Corporation. We got that explanation. Vincent, most likely the person behind my memory loss. But okay, why are you letting? the chick theorize and not us like this is a segment where you let the player figure out what the heck is going on gosh okay i for i regret this drinking game it's still kind of funny though the more i thought about it the more worried i became ah! oh gosh gosh i made mistakes I already thought about it. The more worried I became. There was something. I was unexpected, especially been bothering me. Look at that monochrome boy. Yeah, if you had asked me what kind of person Vincent wants, I would have answered noble, elegant, and mysterious. His words, while excluding charm, could make you feel uneasy at the same time. Is he someone we should be suspicious of? What do you mean, we? Did they just break the fourth wall? What? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Eh. Of course, there's no doubt about- Oh, look! You... No one Winston was innocent. He single-handedly succeeded in proving that the entire experiment was worth the work of a single employee. How scary is this man? For him to be able to do something like that. Nevertheless, I met him at the mansion. I thought there was a subtle connection between us that I couldn't explain. I'm well aware that I've lost all my memories. I have no idea about our past and have no reason to draw such conclusions. It's feeling was particularly strong. It was as if the part of my brain that stored memories had disappeared, but the part that stored emotions was still intact. I have to learn about Vincent's past. It is vital for me to know. Come on. Do you did you just come from the legal department? Uh -huh. Huh? What? Are you planning to go there? You planning to go there? That's that's a voice. It's been like five minutes and I've already forgotten it. No, it's not been five minutes, it's probably been like thirty. No, not thirty. Uh brain fart. Uh ten. It's probably more accurate. Um yes, can you take me there? It's simple. Just go through the door right there and you can reach the legal department. However, <laughs> Pulled out a card from her pocket. Only, only by swiping this card you can unlock this door. How? How did you get that? No comment, Miss Detective. You know, I haven't, I haven't even yet dealt with you for. Wait, I haven't even yet dealt with you for locking us in here. Considering you're from the GFAR Investigation Bureau, I can make a deal with you. Just like last time, you do me a favor, I'll do you a favor. How's that? Last time? Really, have you forgotten already? Last time, you did me a little flavor. 
in exchange, I told you some secrets about my ice coverage. Let's do the same this time. Truth is, I accidentally lost one of my belongings here. You can help me find it, and I'll get give you the key card as a reward. Before I, I agree to anything, tell me exactly what you've lost. Oh, a round spherical object. Hmm. Hey, what's that look all about? I know, I know. It doesn't sound kind of... It does sound kind of vague. But trust me, the moment you see it, you'll instantly realize. <laughs> this must be what Zolomon is looking for. This time, I'll take your word for it. And this thing is something that you... That you did indeed lose? Shush, shush. Stop asking so many questions. We're making a deal here, not playing too many questions, all right? What? Don't you want... What? Don't you want the key card? Huh? All right. And are you sure you left the spherical object in this lab? No doubt about it. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in this lab. Gosh, I'm tired of drinking. Uh, again, prefacing, this is water. I'm being a good child and drinking my water. Man, this is annoying. Okay, I'm also tired. I'd love to go to bed right now. Um, Jekyll told me both sides of the lobby would eventually lead us to the basement. Where the secret chamber of the G4 cyborg incident is located. Ah! In other words, not only will there be able to find a lot of clues there, I could also get out of this place through the other side of the Myers lobby. At this moment, still nothing could be heard from the other side of the gate. I don't know what happened to Draco. Would I ever get to see him again? Um, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm never gonna do, like, the hydrate thing, because I feel like you guys would abuse it. Like, that hydrate points thing. Oh, man. I would, yeah, you guys would abuse it. I think... I would probably, like, disable it, depending. I don't know. Things. Um, things is probably not gonna matter, to be honest. Um... Anyway, time for us to search the spherical object objective. Find Zora's item. So it can be connects to Myers Lobby in the lab. Well, in the lab. Come in here from the other side. Didn't hear anything from the other side. I don't know what's happened to Draco. Salomon, is there really no way to reopen the gate from here? Huh? Why don't you find it for me then? As far as I know, only the front desk can control the gate to so either side of the lobby. Feature of the minor security system. With all due respect, the security system doesn't seem much. It doesn't make sense to me. I know, right? I have no clue what they were thinking either. Right now, the only possible way for us to get out of here is to reach the other side of Myers by taking the elevator from the basement and then go back to the lobby from there. I see. It seems that my assumption here... My assumptions are not wrong. Wait. Robotic arm. Hey, did, did you notice? Huh? Something is different about the, this robotic arm. Come take a look. See this? It has an extra circle engraved on it. Hmm. You're right. It's just a small detail. Does it really mean anything? We don't even see that in an 
any of the other ones. Robotic arm. Nothing special about it. A robotic arm. Nothing special about it. A robotic arm. Nothing special about it. Good to know we've exhausted our resources there. So... Where to the legal department? Let's find Zalman's item first. Zalman's keycard. Let's... A boombox. I don't really feel like listening to the radio right now. Rude, I do. I want to listen to radio. A trophy. A trophy has a diamond shape engraved on it. There isn't any text. Detective? What do you think this trophy is for? I'm not sure. Maybe it's for employee of the month? Employee of the month? Perhaps the winner gets a free ticket to the basement. <laughs> person's joke. <laughs> drawer. It's locked. A drawer. A, a slide. I slide it open and take a look. Nothing in it. That's disappointing. It had a lock on it, so I thought there would be certainly be goodies inside. You're not exactly wrong. Huh? What do you mean? Look here. Look on this drawer has been pried open. You're right! Then it looks like someone has looted this place. Whoever broke this lock must have taken the good stuff inside. Right. A cupboard under a drawer. Open and take a look. There's nothing in it. A cupboard under the drawer. Open it and take a look. There's nothing in it. Okay. Try the door handle. The door itself doesn't seem to be locked, but because of the fixture on the top, I couldn't open it. Okay. Okay. Contemporary art really is getting more and more prestigious. Detective, what do you think these four art pieces mean? I already know what it means. Don't try and, like, tell me what's going- like, how to do this puzzle, please. For the love of God. I think it's some kind of device. Okay. Some kind of device? Look here. There's two buttons under each one. Each piece. Oh, let me try pressing one of them. Huh? The art has changed. Yeah, I was assuming this is how you do the puzzle. Do puzzle. Like no. Okay, figures of the game. If you're watching this, don't explain your gosh darn puzzles. Like only do it if like the character specifically need it. If any like if they ask for it, basically. Like, don't line out stuff specifically like this. Don't explain it to me. Let me figure it out. It's funner that way. I'm not pressing the other one. Shape, 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 uh, the shape changed this time. I understand now. You were supposed to match each shape with a corresponding color. No. Crap, Sherlock. It's not that, it's not that difficult. We just need to try all the combinations, and we should be able to find the right answer. No, it's not as simple as that. Huh? We can change the shape of each art. We could also change their color. What it means is that not only do we need to match each shape with the color for response to it, we also need to find a, a specific order of the art piece by a color. If that's the case, then will there be a more possible impulse? Correct! It be very impractical to just try each of them one by one. Nothing special. No, 
Alright, nothing special. My farm. What? Is that? A key. It's holding a key. What well, item? A key. Why? Okay, wait. This place has been ransacked. But somebody didn't take the key. Red circle. I think it goes green, red, blue, yellow. So let's do dice. Yeah. I don't know. It's a puzzle as yet. Very impractical. Just guess. Honey, 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 love, darling. You're an idiot. A trophy. The trophy has a diamond shape engraved on it. There isn't any text. Door handle, the door itself is unlocked. Couldn't open it. I think they're trying to get the dog to come upstairs. I'm hearing like pats. A drawer! Oh, it's locked. Can we come on? It's locked. Okay, let me equip the key then. There we go. I unlocked the drawer! What I find inside is a scalpel, a cassette tape, a cassette tape, and a locked drawer. Detective, you know what this means, right? Locked items: scalpel, cassette tape. Let's. I load the tape into the boom box. Proceed to press the, fo the play button. Sporadic sounds started to come out from of it one by one. Uh, on July 20th, and they're approximately two. Oh, 2300? Yeah. Oh. Minor explosions. Prison area. And whereabouts? Mm. Myers research. Sounds to life. Remain unknown. Okay, they need to stop doing the dot dot dots. This is. This is getting annoying. The voice coming out from out was very faint and indistinct. I can only make out a few vague words. Huh? heck is wrong with this boombox? Can't understand crap. Here, let me fix it. Please, FBI, open up. <laughs> with that, it's almost started banging on the boombox. So I'm not, wait! I have to protect the boombox with my arms. Oh, we get a flashback? Oops. There we go. On July 20, July 20, 2081, at approximately 2300. I'm sorry if I'm having problems reading. Um, the red text is really hard to read. Um, several minor explosions occurred near the G4 central prison area. Destroying part of the prison wall. Whereabouts of Insumus, the former Myers. Former Myers researcher, the mastermind behind the G4 cyborg incident, who was sentenced to life in prison, remains unknown. The possibility that a diving wall explosion did, cannot be ruled out until the site is cleared. July 21st, 2081. The complete. Complete? Oh god. Police completed. The clean up of the explosion scene. They found a small number of bionic prosthetic fragments and some explosives. Confirm that one synth has been a, wait, has been absconded? Absconded? 
Yeah, I may be wrong on that. I'm sorry, English is my first language. Um, a fugitive is still at large, and the police have yet to find any information leading to his arrest. Well, that's interesting. Why are we back here? Dear Vincent, tell me this news hasn't happened to be connected to you in any way, does it? Hmm. Gosh. I have no knowledge of this. I only just heard about the news as well. Oh, is that so? Then why would you mind explaining to me why this man is right in your mansion? I just happened to run into Mr. Loomis on my way back. What an amazing twist of fate, wouldn't you agree, Mr. Loomis? So how do we introduce this one character? Yes, make him like, hmm. Make this character go like, huh. Which we had this character do cough. <coughs> He's dying slowly. That's that's how we know. Oh, quite the twist of fate indeed. My dear Vincent Edgeworth, don't you know that Winston should be rotting in prison right now? Hmm. Can I say? Sometimes I don't pay much attention to such minuscule details. Not paying it much attention? You can't be serious. Have you forgotten that you were the one who put Winston in prison? Vincent, look into my eyes. I have always I might have always been good at lying to other people. We both very Hey, gay. Hey, let that be gay. But we both know very well that you could never do it in front of me. I've always been like that. And this is no exception. Hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've been looking you in the eyes this whole time. No, you haven't. I have. You haven't. I have. Okay. Jeez. I regret this. I'm gonna drown myself. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Thank God. Hmm. This is how you do the passage of time. Is you just have it stop there for a bit. Like, no line. Just that's it. Like, maybe for a couple of seconds. You know? You know? That'd be easier. You wouldn't have to put in the text. Anyways. <sighs> you know, my friends. I would, always support, I would support you no matter what choice you make. I always have, ever since we met each other in college. But all of this, it's just pure madness. I understand what lies do to you is absolutely unforgivable. Do you realize that there's also no turning back to the path you're going? When you choose revenge, you are no longer different from your enemies. Vincent Edgeworth 
It is already a miracle that you have survived from that disaster. You could still achieve so much in your life. Do you really want to be at war with Minus forever? Do you really think that you could take on an entire, on the entire Myers Corporation on your own? <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. You are, you are just sacrificing your life for nothing. Itchy eye, itchy eye. See? See? This is the right way how to show passage of time. Oh, not that. Not that. That's not how you do it. Then join me, Victor. What? Then join me. I need you. I may look like an idiot who's in over his head, but I no longer wish to be pushed around. Do you really think that Myers is going to let me go after all this? Yeah. If I... If I choose to do nothing now, I will definitely be dead sooner or later. But if I succeed in mastering this technology, I'll become the one in charge. I can become better than Myers. You're right, Victor. I can't do this on my own. I feel the mind of Winston Loomis. I need the mind of Winston Loomis. But beyond that, I need another man. Someone I know I can trust. Someone I know I can entrust my life to. This is gay. Let them be gay. Vincent, have you gone mad? Do you- don't you realize who I am? Do you understand how dangerous a decision like this is? I believe the world is an equilibrium. Dynamic equilibrium. And eventually, you realize that good and evil are but two changing rhythms. I trust you, Victor, and I'm sure we can find the equilibrium that's just right. Let them be gay. That's right. How could I forget? Vincent Edgeworth never gets his choices. But it's been a long time since I've seen you like that. It's going to be an incredibly long and difficult path. This time, Vincent Edgeworth is going to walk alongside you. Thank you, Victor. Uh -huh. What did you say? I couldn't hear you. I said... I said, thank you. <laughs> oh gosh. I made regrets. I understand that. But geez, they need to stop. Look, we almost forgot. Mr. Loomis has been here for the whole time. Looks like he's heard everything we've been saying. Speaking of which, what are you planning to do with this fellow? Hmm. Perhaps we can throw him back in prison. Oh, <laughs> what's the matter, my dear Vincent? What's that embarrassing look on your face. Victor, that's enough. By the way, I actually got a surprise for you. And, and these are... Some items I brought back from Winston's lair. I... From Winston's lair. I secretly broke... One, give me a sec. I secretly broke open one of the drawers there. When no one was around. Bonjour, mon ami. Um. Kellis. Oh, um, this game is called Vincent and the Secret of Myers, I think? It was a game suggested to me by one of my D&D, &D, like, 
players. So like fellow players, we're in a campaign together. Um, and she suggested it to me. So I had, when I have nobody like playing with me, I just play it. Um, I reached 50 followers, technically. Also technically no, cause, um, oh, I don't know if I posted this in custards, but I, it says I have 51 followers on like my Twitch side thing for opera, as well as my main channel. But going into like the achievements, it says I have 48. So I'm not really counting that I have 50 followers yet. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Um, three bot accounts? I, I have no clue. I have no clue because I, th I'm pretty sure I've talked to, like literally everyone who's followed me. Like I not talked, but like you know chat. Um, I've seen them chat before. I might be wrong. Let me check, actually. Yeah. I'm pretty sure every every one of those I have been able to chat with. <laughs> I love my lurk, lurk thing. Anyways, um, back to the game. Um... In other words, you've known this whole time that Winston escaped from prison wounds with my work. Well, you could say so. Edgeworth, why don't you take a moment and look through these? It's for Mr. Loomis. Just take. Just leave him to me for the moment. Okay. Victor Blake. He intimidates me sometimes. He could read my mind without any difficulty and could go even go as far as to anticipate my every move. Never needs Mars mechanical prosthetics to be a superhuman. He already is one. Sometimes I can't help but wonder. If I hadn't become friends with him back in college, I never had him next to me when I needed him. How different would things be now? What would I possibly be at this moment? Please tell me they are gay. Wait, is there? There was not. Rather not think about it. Is running out. I need to carefully examine all these items Victor has brought back. Oh, look! We might need this. Leather notebook. The cover is engraved with a triang triangle. Every page of the notebook is filled with details of each day's experiments and neat handwriting. No doubt that this was Winston's research journal. February 15th, 2080, sunny. Subject number five exhibited very severe rejection, accompanied by a significant mental decline. Subject exhibited multiple symptoms of discomfort, including convolutions, screaming, and banging on containment unit. Subject number two and number three are currently not are currently stable and have not exhibited any signs of rejection. April 10th, 2080, sunny. Subject five's mental condition deteriorated further, and a proportion of the epidermis on the torso showed signs of decay. Subject made, very, made several attempts to destroy the containment unit and still showed no signs of improvement after food intake. Number one and three are currently in stable condition with no rejection observation at this time. July 1st, 2080, cloudy. 
don't know why he's putting like the um weather. I guess that actually makes sense, because sometimes weather does change people's personalities. Oh. Subject number five's physical condition has deteriorated to the point where only 30% of the body surface still has skin. This subject continues to fail to de demonstrate successful mechanization. It will remove its memory core. Number three is otherwise in good condition, but with an abnormal refusal to take food today. And the one is currently in a stable condition. No rejection observation at this time. Number 20th, 2080, rainy. Um, number five's memory core has been successfully dismantled, and the subject is temporarily sealed in its containment unit. It will dismember it at a later date and dispose of its body parts in the wastewater pool outside the G4 district. <laughs> We're just gonna throw it in, like, the local pool. It's fine. Subject so, three, 1 and 3 are currently in stable condition, and the rejection is... Yeah, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Wait. Are we reading backwards? Wait. That should be tw 2081. <gasps> I found a typo! <sighs> um, rejection is observable. Um, today, subject number one suddenly became unstable and violent and attempted to attack several researchers. Subject sta stabilized after the removal of the memory core is now temporarily sealed in its containment unit. Subject number three remains stable at this time, but has yet to show any evidence of successful psychotic linking. Very cool, is it? Huh. Pen. A fountain pen. Well, the whole surface is the barrel uh, of the barrel is smooth, but only one side has a square engraved on it. Which seems quite out of place. Cat Poker cards. Poker cards from G4 district are a bit different from more prevalent versions. The prevalent versions originated from the G3 district with four suits. Spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. Why do you have different cards? There's no reason for that. On the other hand, the G4 version has a major thing. With the four suits replaced by fire. Fire, tree, wait. Why is fire black? Fire, fire, tree, water droplet, and the moon. I don't... Okay. Like, if it was the different elements, that'd be interesting. Of, like, fire, water, earth, signified as a tree. And I guess air gets the moon? I don't... Just too close. <laughs> okay. Many theories as to why this... Why this is... This is still no definitive answer. However, this is quite ironic in my opinion. If the culture and purpose of G4 has nothing to do with nature at all. More importantly, I would want to must bring a deck of cards to my college. Specifically these four. That goes ace, two, three, four. You have them in the wrong order, buddy. Before you should know that it is strictly forbidden to carry non work related items, let alone playing cards. It's even stranger that these four cards happen to contain all four suits, and the numbers just happen to be ace, A to four as, as well. Obviously, there's some kind of hint that Winston has given himself. Is it some kind of code? Probably is. So, tree, water, moon, fire, right? A specialty mixed martini. It has become more than just a mere pleasure of taste for me. It's no longer, it is now a necessity of life. Alcoholics be like. And I'm guessing that this will take us back. Boombox Victor brought him. 
know what he was thinking. However, the news of Winston's escape is now widespread throughout the G4 district. It's not what I desired, but unfortunately, it is inevitable. Yep. This game is becoming a bit predictable. I don't want to get up. I took the two drinks for that. I'm not going to re-say that. Um, was that Vincent's memory that I just saw? Hey, hey, are you all right? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Come to think of it, I don't think she knows I have the ability to read memories yet. Jesus Christ, you scared the crap out of me. You suddenly went emotionless and weren't moving an inch. You didn't even respond to me. Sorry that I made you worried. I feel a bit better now. And by the way, I, I seem to have worked out what the news recorded on the tape was about. Oh, oh, that was the same now. Um, oh, really? Let's hear it. What is it about? About Winston Loomis is escaping from prison. That one is an employee who was framed by Myers. Oh, I remember that. From what I've heard, no one knows where that guy is to this day. But detective, you have to watch out. I wouldn't have called him innocent if I were you. Huh? Why do you say so? It, it is indeed true that most rumors describe him as an innocent employee who was framed by Myers Corporation. And I guess that they're right to some extent. Experiments on the cyborgs were not the work of Winston alone. In fact, every core member of Myers Corporation was aware of the existence of this project. But together, they chose to frame that poor researcher so as not to be implicated themselves. However, what kind of people forget to mention is, Winston was indeed one of the researchers involved in the experiment. Speaking of which, Detective, you want to know a fun fact? Wait, ah! mention is. Ah! Ah! Okay. Well, do do do. Do you which detective? You want to know a fun fact? What's it actually used to work right here in this lab? Ah, uh, you see. So Winston wasn't innocent after all. However. He was framed by another member of the Myers Corporation to take the blame for the whole experiment. And in July 2081, he managed to escape from prison with Vincent's help. It's a mention that he needed Winston's knowledge, but also Victor's help to master a certain technology. On one hand, he wanted to use technology to protect himself, and on the other hand, he wanted to speak out his revenge on Myers. So what kind of technology that is? Good guess, but I still need to confirm my suspicions. In any case, let us continue the investigation. The scalpel. Look at the use of the scalpel be. Warning: the device will unlock automatically after entering the correct answer. Uh oh, gosh. Oh, right. We did this wrong. We need some green, red, blue, yellow. Green, red, blue, yellow. Perfect. Um, I need to change that. Give me a second. Sure. 
I don't know if you guys can hear me. This is upsetting. Um, yeah. This was square. This was triangle. This was square. This was circle. Wow. We might have to flip. Ah! This is special about it. Cool. Good. Good. Cool. Um, green. So we should do yellow, blue, red, green. So yellow, blue, red. Circle. Was a square? Was a triangle? Okay. I feel like I'm missing something. Because this is the only thing that makes sense. Eh. Truth is, I've lost a round spherical object. You can help me find it. I'll get you the key back to the legal department. Okay. Got this. Department. Use this item here. Can we? We're just gonna do everything and see if. Oh, use item here. Oh, you can go through the vent for some reason. Didn't know that was a thing. Um. Here. Can you see here? Can you work somewhere. <sighs> okay, so we can't use the item on anything. Ventilation duct opening. Nothing special about it. Maybe we can get out of here by coming out through this opening. That you mean it won't fit you or me? Oh. I don't think it'll fit either of us. Huh? For real? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Oh, this bit circle. So we're in a circle. Green is triangle. And then blue is square. This reset. Okay. So this should be... Yeah, diamond, square, circle. Wait, they already had basically that there. Do green, red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Green, red, blue, yellow. Okay. Let's try. I don't want to brute force this, but like this should work. Eh. Okay. It's probably gonna be like how the last one was like. Oh yeah, you'll know from the thing that this happened. So, what? so like something happened a week later. Like no. Um. Thank you. 
Wait. So legit. How it's like... By the way, these are the order it's supposed to be. Is Tree on it. So we're first to green. What? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So it goes... So red is last. With that logic. So red... Um... I love how it's like... Oh. Nothing special about it. Okay. Not yet, anyways. Okay. was much darker. My eyes had to, had a hard time adjusting to the sudden darkness. Ew. I don't know if you heard that, but it was like white blow. Like squishy, squishy, gross squishy sound. Okay. Um What was that? I just stepped in some kind of wet, sticky substance. Bent down and tried to reach for it, but my arm was nicked by something sharp. Ouch! Are these Shards of glass? That was when I suddenly realized that this was a huge glass chamber standing in front of me. Inside of it was... No! Huh? Get back! Get back! Hi guys! How's it going? God, it looks like that thing is dead. Oh, there. Someone's in there. Huh? Someone's in that glass chamber in the middle. Oh, that's well, probably just a cyborg, too. Cyborg? But they look as if they are... Detective. Didn't you know? There are many kinds of cyborgs. Any kinds? What do you mean? I'm not really an expert myself, but let me just read this part out for you. No, I will have to read this part out to you guys, because like, it'd be weird if I played this whole game and just did nothing and was just like, click, click, click. Wow, that's interesting. Click. <laughs> With that, oh, with that, Zalman took out a journal from her pocket. I think she's the only other female we've ever talked to in this whole game. She's like 30% human. Due to the different bodies' varying abilities to withstand semi mechanization, the phenomenon of intelligent polarization often appears in each bath of. Batch. Batch. Of experimental subjects. Subjects that are able to withstand mechanization generally retain human facial features. With that, their newly modified bodies their exhibit superhuman abilities superior to those of ordinary humans. On the other hand, subjects that failed to successfully withstand mechanization exhibit severe intellectual degradation. 
thus making them behave like wild beasts. At the time, the bodies of these failed subjects would ex exhibit an obvious rejection of mechanization, resulting in them often giving the impression of what they is that they were falling apart. We refer to these cyborgs that have lost their intelligence as husks. It is worth noting, however, that some of the experimental subjects seem to require an acclimation period. That is, their bodies exhibit repulsion similar to that of, an hu of a husk when they first undergo mechanization. As long as they are fed regularly and are given ample time, eventually their bodies will be able to successfully accept the modifications they were are given. Thus, after each bath of it, ugh, gosh, batch. Thus, after each batch, there we go. <laughs> Sounds like I'm like saying like the b word, but like in a weird voice, like. A, after such each batch <laughs> You mean such a batch <laughs> Oh this is gonna be a joke that no one else is gonna get but me because no one's really watching <laughs> Of experimental subjects have been modified. We tend to leave them in the secret chamber for a period of observation. If after that time, the subject still does not does not demonstrate signs of successful mechanization. We we would then dismember it and dump its body parts in the wastewater pool outside the G4 district. Why did you have to read that? The above was recorded in an experimental journal I found here at the corporation. In other words, there are two kinds of cyborgs. First kind looks like a monster, because why couldn't you legit just say this without having to read it to me? Um, the first kind looks like a monster because its body could not withstand mechanization. The other is able to retain its intelligence and look exactly like a normal person because it has been successfully transformed. Yes, but not only that, pay attention to this next part. Gosh, okay. Since often only a small number of subjects possess the ability to withstand mechanization, we often have to dismember and discard most of the cyborgs in the chamber. Why don't they just reuse it? You know what else you asking about? Like, because you could just reuse the parts, I would assume. Like, clean them first. Um, like, big scrub down. Like, throw it in a pot type of scrub down. And it, and this is definitely very costly and burdensome of a burdensome for us. us. Therefore, thanks for the to the tireless efforts of several researchers, we have successfully developed a method to create new types of cyborgs through gen genetic cloning technology. For for a result, we no longer need to search for the minority that can withstand mechanization in batches in batch after batch of experimental subject. Why is that hard? Why is that hard so word for me? God. Oh, gosh. It's almost 12 a.m. I don't know if that explains anything. I hope it doesn't. Um. Anyways, all we need to do is to extract the genes of the subjects that have been successfully modified and then we can produce them again. Nevertheless, since these new cyborgs do not possess any memory, we need to install a memory core inside them, giving them memories that do not exist, thus giving them a unique personality. <coughs> Parent that this voice hates me? Ah! I might just like say this in normal voice for a bit just so that my vocal cords don't kill me later. Um, these memories can be extracted from any existing employee to, employee to achieve the desired personality. Oh, that's what happened to John. 
Must have been. Was that John? Not like the last guy's memory with Clippy. Um, in other words, there are cyborgs that are not directly modified from human beings, but are created through genetic cloning technology. You just said that. Um, but it's hard to tell them apart just by looking at them. Gosh. Wait. I don't know how much drink I have. Have I drank in, like, this whole thing? Eh, give me a second. Gosh! I've almost drank in this whole entire thing! This, okay. Developers of this game. You're cool. You're amazing. Um, stop putting dot, dot, dot. Jesus, you're gonna... Thank God this doesn't have, like, any alcohol in it or anything that's going to affect me. Well, like, this is technically going to affect me because it's water. But I mean, like, legit. Like, if I had, like, alcohol in here, I would be drunk. I'd be drunk. I'd be drunk. Just out. Okay. You mean... It's possible that there are cyborgs lurking around that look just like us ordinary humans. Yes, in other, in a, a manner of speaking. Scalpel. Oh, cyborg. Thank goodness it's dead. Okay. Can't use the item here. Can't use the item here. I can't use this item here. I can't use this item here. I can't use this item here. Okay. Glass chamber. It, in it stands a cyborg that looks just like a human being. It gives me the creeps. A glass chamber. There is nothing in it. The blackboard. There's a lot of diagrams and text marks on it. Detective. You see the string of numbers in the upper right corner? Oh gosh. Okay. Yes, that is up. Cool. We're just gonna... I'm gonna be smart. We're saving that, technically, for later. Is this decimal to binary conversion? What do you think, honey? What do you think? That's also... But yeah, so that's just reading that off. I don't feel like doing that, so we're not going to do that. Um, sue me? Correct. The number, the binary numeral system is widely used in computing technology to represent numbers with just two symbols, zero and one. For example, in binary, one, one, zero means zero, plus one times two, plus one times two times two, which is six in decimal. No, wait. So one, wait, so it'd be one times two, so that'd be two. And then plus one, so it would be one times two would be two. Two times two is four. And then, yeah, I guess it is six. And one, one, one is one plus one times two plus one times two times two, which is seven in decimal. I see. In other words, we need to find the corresponding experimental subject number in binary. Okay. Zero, zero, 001. Cool. System error. The container unit for subject number one has been damaged. Okay. So... It's so this is one times two times two. Um, so let's try ten. Okay, seven. Okay, so we want three, correct? So that'd be one, one. Hey, we got that one. I'm actually surprised. Man receive training the containment unit for subject number three. 
Oh. Oh, she's pretty. Where's the jump scare? The already stifling atmosphere intensified. We caught the first glimpse of what was inside the glass chamber. Selma was horrified at first, but her expression quickly changed to worry. It was as if she, we had mutually agreed not to say anything to each other beforehand. We just stood in silence. We could, I could see Zalma, Zalmon, uh, Zalmana? I don't know. I'm going to say it wrong forever. I'm just fine. Um, staring straight at me. But at the moment, I was completely focused on the cyborg in front of me. Oh, that didn't have a bit. Yeah, it's fine. Let's... Let's do this, then. Oh, I already did the drink for that. So we're not going to do the drink for that. Alright. Uh, uh, okay. I know. I don't want to do this. She's cute, though. <laughs> Took the scalpel that Solomon handed me started making deep cuts into the cyborg's body. Oh, gosh, why this noise? Ugh. Again, and again, and again. I felt emotions that I'd never felt before welling up inside me. All, but all Zalman did was stare. She didn't under, utter a word. Before I realized it, the cyborg's chest was shredded to pieces. Revealed beneath her skin was a particular spherical device. I grabbed the sphere with my bare hands and pulled it out. <sighs> this is what you wanted, right? A cyborg's memory core? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's that's a voice. I had it to Zalman with my blood soak hand. Wait, 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 how did we know it was in there in the first place? It's fine. Let's get the heck out of here. I can't stand it in here anymore. We did it. Give us the card. Detective, are you all right? Trust me, I did dissect a rat. That was traumatizing. Um, but that's a story for another day. Detective? Stop calling me detective. You don't even know who I am. You saw it too. The Sarberg we just saw. She looked she looked exactly like me. I don't even know who you are, Salmon. I don't remember anything at all. I thought coming here would find me the wait. Coming here would help me find the wait. Find me the answers I wanted, but I just feel completely lost. Okay. I could be someone who doesn't even exist. Just one of a million other identical cyborgs. Draco was right all along. I shouldn't even be here to begin with. With my sudden breakdown, Zalman didn't show one ounce of anger with me. Why does she look like a cyborg? It's the teeth. It's the teeth. After a moment of silence, she started to speak. You feel that the truth you seek is meaningless now, don't you? You've lost all hope because you worried that you were merely a replica. You shouldn't let your past define you. You're right. There's no way to be certain if you are or aren't the detective I met. Whoever each of us is, is up to us. The moment you open your eyes, you are who you are, and not anyone else. So, what if there's someone else, somewhere in the world, who looks exactly like you? Each of our own unique experiences that make up who we are, isn't it? At this moment, only you and I are standing here. This experience belongs to just us, and no one else. What motivates each of us is to go on with our lives, is the countless exciting 
Yeah. Huh? I ruined the moment. I ruined the moment. I understand that. <laughs> Exciting possibilities that lie in store. And in the near future, you're bound to meet new people and make new friends. And maybe, oh gosh, they become your new family. People who are willing to sacrifice their lives for you. People who would sacrifice their lives for me? You've got a friend in Draco. You've got a friend in Draco. It's not a found family, but it's about the same. Cause you got a friend in Draco. Uh, <laughs> don't demonetize me, please. Um, Zalman's words were somehow very reassuring. It's very different from how I'd imagined her to be. Never thought I'd hear such words from you. Hmm. <laughs> Probably something I picked up during my previous profession. Huh? Don't worry too much about it. It's irrelevant now. Anyways, thanks a lot for your help. You have no idea how important this device is to me. Zolomon, why do you need the cyborg's memory core? It's a long story. You said you've lost all your memories. But seeing that you found your way into Myers, I think it's safe to assume that you've heard the urban legend about the G4 district. Urban legend. Okay, G Ford's, G four districts. Urban legends. Do you mean the infamous G four cyborg instant? Close, but I'm thinking particularly about the end of that legend. It sounds something like this. To this day, people still mysteriously vanish in the G four district. Rumors say that the spirits of the victims from the experiment are still wandering the streets. No. Taking the lives of those unfortunate enough to cross paths with them. Oh, I remember. Right. And you don't even, you don't need me to tell you that ghosts don't exist. These recent disappearance in the G4 district are the deliberate work of a certain someone as well. Are you suggesting that Myers Corporation is behind these recent disappearances as well? Mars Corporation that is continually operating covertly? Yeah, something like that. But here's the thing. A lot of details about these cases are different from the original G4 cyborg incident. G4 G4 oh gosh. G4 cyborg incident. Mars Corporation turned their own employees into cyborgs and kidnapped ordinary citizens to use cattle feed. But most of the people who go missing nowadays aren't ordinary citizens. It's people who either had a history with Myers or were former employees of Myers. Did Myers Corporation turn them into cyborgs or well, as well? Or are they just used as cattle feed? Hmm. Huh. If they all once somehow... Wait, if they all... If they were all once somehow once associated with Myers, it makes sense that Myers would simply want them gone. Precisely. But many people believe that this series of disappearances it was the work of one just one person. Okay. Well, let's stop for a sec, cause, gosh, I have a, f I hate how this game is legit just spelling everything out for me. Like, it's okay to have a bit of mystery, but also, like, please. Like, their puzzles make no gosh darn sense. Because, like, how, how are we supposed to know that, like, tree is green and moon is like yellow like no that's that makes no sense that like uh okay getting tired it's almost 12 a.m yeah 
A dangerous criminal who is extremely careful, so much that they've never left a single fingerprint behind, or a clue as to what happened to the victims. And this person is known as the most wanted criminal in the G4 district it's for how they are connected to Myers. No one is really sure, but there is one person who, is, who has seen them that is still alive. Only one person. Who is that? That person is me. Huh? Yes. The most wanted criminal in G4 District messed up once, and I was there when it happened. Hmm. I am actually curious. It was a dark... It was a dark and windy night. I had just gone back to my apartment building, and I was about to go inside my apartment to relax. But I was walking past an apartment on the same floor. The power went out. The hallway was envol enveloped, no, enveloped in complete darkness. I couldn't see anything around me. Just then, I heard blood curdling screams accompanied with that sound like flesh being torn off the bones of the apartment next to me. A person rushed out of the apartment and brushed past me. They were in such a panic that I wasn't even sure if it if they noticed my presence. Shortly afterwards, the power came back on and the person was long gone. And then the hallway had been spotless beforehand. It was completely different after the power was restored. The walls and floors were painted with red painted red with blood. And the apartment store, which had previously been closed, was half a jar. Just say a jar. Half half or just half opened. Like half a jar. Like that's that's pretentious. Holy crap, this is serious. Without thinking much, I pushed open the door of the apartment to check in on my neighbor. What I saw before me was the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh. A man on the floor, his body shredded to bits. The room was strewn with pieces of his body and entrails. But that wasn't even the worst part. The scariest thing was... Even though his head was completely detached from his body, his mouth was still open, opening and closing as if they were deliberately trying to catch his breath. <coughs> hey, hey, hang in there. I'll call an ambulance right away. I impulsively rushed to help him, even though I knew very well that it was much too late. Just then, some of the neighbors had heard the screams and rushed over. My attempts to help the victim were misunderstood. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Murderer! She's a murderer! Grab her! Don't let her get away! I hope I don't have to do these voices again, because I don't remember them. Wait, wait, I can explain. But it was too late for me to say anything. And then what happened really? after that? After that, it was as embarrassing as it sounds. I became, I became G4's most wanted criminal. Although I man, I've managed to escape from the G4 police. It's getting so much harder finding a new apartment. But please believe me, I really wasn't the one who killed him. I wouldn't even hurt a fly. I believe you, Zalman. Then, you didn't actually get a good look at him either. <sighs> You're right. The corridor was completely black when I met him. I didn't even get to see what he looked like either. If that's the case, how can you be so sure that the killer isn't the same person who's responsible for the recent series of disappearings in G4? <sighs> that needed a comma. Honestly, I can't. But I later learned that the victim, my neighbor, was Dr. Richard, Dr. Richard 
Imano, former employee of Myers. And as always, as always, the police found no fingerprints from the suspect suspects at the scene. Of course, except for mine. It's too much of a coincidence, don't you think? So my guess is the killer was originally going to kidnap Mr. Edmund Emon Emano. Anon. on M and on M and on sure and murder him somewhere else but for some reason he screwed up that time so we killed Mr. Almond in a hurry and ran away and what's even more interesting is the way Dr. M M on M and um, on was murdered it was very similar to how the core members were killed in the G4 cyborg incident. They are ripped to pieces. So it's quite possible that this is the same person who got away with his killing the core memories. And the reason you're looking for the cyborg memory core is... Yes, as I was saying, many of the victims of the recent unexplained disappearances have connections to Myers. It's hard not to conclude that the murder also was a very close relationship with Myers. And it's the cyborgs that Myers produces through cloning will have a memory core. Each device story... Okay. I gotta stop for another sec. This is... A lot of nothing happening. But just an incredible lore dump. And that... My brain, my brain is actually not taking in the information, I'm going to be honest here. I'm just saying words, and that does not mean I'm actually retaining it. So makers of this game, if you are watching, please, for the love of God, let me figure this crap out myself. Or like, say it in less words. Or, you know paraphrase because that's a thing you can do paraphrasing where you just don't say the whole thing that would be nice yeah sorry give me a sec i need to unfocus on this game for a sec because we've been in this spot for like 30 minutes i feel well it's been like it's been 20 minutes i think I might be wrong. Okay. Okay, let's check, see if anyone has... Nope, no one has put it into chat. Cool. <sighs> Each device stores certain memories, giving the cyborg the personalities they would lack otherwise. Other than those memories are extracted from Myers employees. I understand now. You want to find the real murderer by reading the memories each memory core thus providing oh i understand now you want to find the real murderer by reading the memories of each memory core it's providing your innocence proving your innocence exactly not just my own sake but also for the safety of the g4 district i will keep searching until i find the truth even if it's myers corporation who's behind all of this hmm. all right that's all I have to say. Anyways, thanks again for helping me out. Go ahead and take the key. This key card. I took the key card from the legal department that Zalman handed to me. But, are you still going to continue your investigation? You know, if you want to get out of here with me right now, that wouldn't be impossible. Hmm? But isn't the gate to the lobby... Closed? I know, I know, but the truth is, I accidentally forgot about this. Zalman took a watch out of her pocket. Um. A watch? Oh, darling, this watch is more than me, CI. It was originally a gift from an old friend of mine, but I had a few 
modifications to it. Just by wearing it, it can teleport myself anywhere. How did she forget something this important? But the downside is, it can teleport me anywhere. What do you mean? As in, I took the drink. I can't decide where we'll be teleported to. <laughs> Do you hear that, everybody? Do you hear that? That is the drink being empty once again. I have drank like 32 ounces of water in this whole entire freaking time. I don't, I, I don't want to run down and get more water because I also need to pee again. Which must be a surprise. Um, yeah, we're not. I'm. I'll go downstairs later and get more water. But this, I think I'll just do like the like motion because I'm. I'm a hundred percent filled with water at the moment. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm done with water. This is a lot. Okay. It was. It once teleported me inside a men's bathhouse. Incredibly embarrassing situation. But the hey, there's risks with anything. Wouldn't you agree? So, are you gonna come with me? Let's get the hell out of here. I'm sorry, Zolman. I can't leave just yet. There's this person, even though I can't remember how we are connected or why I was willing to he was willing to risk my, his life for me. That person is currently trapped in the Myers lobby. I'm worried about him. I see. Do you want me to come with you? No, Zalman. That would be too dangerous. <sighs> this is all my fault. I should have never come here. I can't get another one of my friends involved. I want to see... What I don't want to see them get hurt. <sighs> I understand. That was, if that's the case, promise me that you won't, you will be able to take care of yourself. I hope we meet again someday. Maybe then, you'll be able to ha tell me your real name. I'll see you later, Miss whenever your memories get back your, whenever you get your memories back be sure to tell me all the stories about your past alright of course goodbye Zalman huh? she's gone I wonder where she will be teleporting to this time well then it's time for me to push forward as well Next up, the legal department. Well, please say this is the end of this chapter. Please, please, please. Investigation complete. Successfully located the cyborg's memory core. Tell me I'm done with the pre-alpha. No! I need to pee. <laughs> here we are, the legal department. Hard to believe that Vincent used to work here. Huh? Wait a second. In the distance, is that an elevator? Solomon had told me. The only way to get back to the Myers lobby now is to take the elevator to the basement and return there from the other side. So it seems that this is what she was talking about. However, I have come a long way. Should I investigate this place first? But, what's the point? 
I've now long lost the confidence I had when I was confronting Draco in the Myers lobby. Not sure if I want to know the truth anymore. You have to realize, losing your memories could also be a blessing. Countless people have are imprisoned by their own memories. Try their best to let go, yet cling to them at the same time. But you, on the other hand, are giving us like a chance. Isn't that wonderful? To be honest, even if I'm getting a little bit jealous. How did you end up here, Poopy? <laughs> I'm sorry, that name is wonderful. Okay. Patting myself on the back. Just, yeah, anyways. I regret to inform you that I don't know either. The truth is, my brother was the one who heard particular knocking sounds on the door last night. When I went to open, he saw your face down on the stairs, unconscious. Why are we doing like a flashback of everyone? Your seemingly commendable courage is nothing more than ignorance wrapped up in a pretty package. You have absolutely no clue what you're about to face. Do you really believe that you can face up to all the dangers that are coming your way? Do you really believe that you can accept the truth that will be revealed? Shh. I'm too lazy. Vincent, Victor, and Draco. How many lies? Wait, how many lies are there all around me? Why is that like that? Why is everyone lying to me? Ever since I woke up in the mansion, I've been deceived again and again. Why? Why are all of you lying to me? Why are you lying to me? Lie Wait, what was it? Why? Yeah. You lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What am I doing? I don't even have time to think about this right now. Since I'm already here, I might as well have a little look around first. Please tell me the game. We're done with the pre alpha. Please tell me we're done with the pre alpha. Should I briefly read through some of the documents I have found? Uh, these documents are from the legal department. I really don't understand them all. Hold on a second. The nameplate on this table. Vincent Edgeworth, Chief Vol Legal Officer. So, then, this used to be Vincent's office table. On the table is a note and a glove. Okay, I might stop this here because I'm getting tired and I've lost drink and I need to take like 10. Like, I think next time I play this, I'll just take, like, a retake the drinks. Um, I was not expecting this chapter to be as long as it is. Um, so yeah, we'll save this. Boop. Alright, and then we'll do this, this, um, then let's see, let's close the game. Sure, I'll quit. Yes, I am sure. Okay, let's... Who... I feel like Des is streaming. I'm just assuming. Because he tends to stream, like, exact same time as me, but, like, an hour later. So I'll rate him. If he's... If he's actually streaming. Yep, he is. Hey. Learn your schedule, buddy. Shush, shush. Shush, I might be running on like five brain cells at the moment. It's fine. Expired. Okay. Well, the community complete. Okay. We will open a new tab. Um, video producer. We want to go there. Wait, does it legit say that I have 50 followers now? Bro! Wait, I need to actually do something for this. Okay, 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 okay. I will see if I can get people to do something tomorrow. Um, 
Yeah, because it is actually now legit. So, um, people in my Discord are going to hate me. Um, guys, I got followers officially. Okay, um, raid channel, Des, start raid. Okay. Right. It was wonderful talking to you all. Wonderful night. Bye, my lovely flowers.